are they going to make up for it? Well, Montez Mathis just drops five for five from the three point line. They go 11 for 21 and they're running. And here is Mathis from Young for the first point. Tells you that they're very well coached, but you know, it also tells me, Jason, that they like each other. There's no ego and they know how to play. Cars are falling away. That, that's the biggest difference between a guy like Hansbro, who was uber productive in college and not so much in the NBA. You got a problem here. And it's Garza getting position early. Not, hey, coach, I thought I was going to get it. I don't care. You didn't, and he got a layup. Best you're, player in the country. You're fired up today. Oh, I can't wait. This is a great game, brother. Jacob Young in the lane. Got it for both, both teams, Jason. Don't let the ball get driven in the middle. And there it went to the middle. And there's a shot. Young for Mathis. Got it from the corner. Montez Matt. But I love this kid. I think Wees can't maybe a pro. Well, Bohannon is two threes away from passing Joe Crispin on the Big Ten panel. Is ready to play for the first time as well. We see Mamadou Decore off the bench. Geo Baker off the refeed from Johnson. He gave up the three and they will reset. It's Johnson against Garza off the spin. Johnson decisively wow. for two. Very nice. He's got to make sure he does not pop. We can't miss the three. Mathis ahead of the field. That was beautiful. Wow. That was a really odd decision well, by he, Geo Baker. He didn't trust Reber and he didn't trust McConnell. Look at McCaffrey. <laughs> McCaffrey going to be more involved as the season goes on because I've seen some great stuff out of him and I think they would like to. Ooh. Mathis slicing through lost it and it's stripped away. It's three on two for Iowa to sign the lob backside. No second chance is there. I'm a big Keegan Murray fan. I was a big Kenyon Murray fan his dad. But Keegan Murray man. He just does everything for Iowa. He comes in the game and affects it. Murray again. No sir. Bad jump shoot day so far. Not Until him. now, and the point now can't do that against Miles Johnson and then Ulysses. Nobody gets back. Young the stuff for Rutgers. Uh, finding the next guy. This is where Bohan has got to take over a little bit here. Garza splashes down a three from Bohan. Do anything? No. It's like okay, good for you. Johnson snapped off a quick pass, didn't get the three. Now Mulcahy in traffic for two and a foul. All right here. This is where I just believe Bohannon, who just lit it up against Northwestern, has to get going at some point. Yeah, that was his best scoring game of the year. And <laughs> I'll get a text about that very shortly. Here is Eulis, who nearly double dribbled on the kick out. Nunji. That is a big shot for him. You said it earlier. Wow. And if you are Rutger, or excuse me, Iowa, you cannot let Mathis go get buckets here, and you better find that guy. From the top of three for Bohannon. Here comes Rutgers. Geo Baker catch and shoot. No, missed the three. Perkins couldn't come up with a rebound. McConnell gave up the three. Instead, Harper drills it. Aaron Eulis, the freshman, driving into Mulcahy, who's got two fouls. And on the reload, the three is good. Bohannon one more time. He with Geo Baker all over him. There have been a couple closeouts that have been pretty good for Rutgers, and the threes have gone down anyway. Now, Harper go to the corner with, I think it was Young. Nunji off the mark. Baker snares the rebound. Head up for Rutgers. One more time. Harper from longer range. He's got six in a row. Mulcahy got it from the corner. Bohannon has. Ooh, got a layup. Garza wants it. Garza's got it. They converge and he scores anyway. Fake that or being looked at. Really good defensively, even though the ball was moving tough. Look at this. Oh, Nunji got a piggyback <laughs> ride accidental. <laughs> Young trying to dance with the dribble. Bohannon took it away. Murray, who came in, got two and a foul. Gotta have good hand eye coordination, I'm told. Hockey players usually good golfers because of that reason right there. Interesting take. Harper so quick from that corner. Missed the three. Second chance is there for Mathis. He's rotating. On the, he's just he's just playing. He's just balling. So's Young. Young the takeaway. Oh, he skated by and cleared away the defender. Mathis for Johnson. Oh, denied at the rim. Harper wanted it at the wing. Instead, Mathis. Oh, the stuff coming from Johnson soaring in. Garza, triple team, no five second there. 
And here is a drive from Frederick for two to make it a three point and fighting for the rebound and he sprung it for Young. Jacob Young show and go for two brilliant. Pop him up his brother Joe had the same thing big time score at Houston. Isn't that amazing how that runs in the family. <laughs> That three goes down for Iowa. Yeah, I think so. Just right now. Johnson. Yes. Uh, Bohannon so good with the eyes up. That is denied. I'm telling you, number 21 Reber made a great play. He stopped. Rap. And yeah. Baker for three. By the rim. See Mathis? Could have jacked that up. Yes, nope. he could have. He wasn't ready, though. Baker, yes, sir. On the make for Murray. It's a five-point game. Keegan Murray with a strong second half. He's got nine points after halftime. Johnson collected. Him to the rim. Business, but look at oh, the, the help. help. Yeah. Yep. Now Wee's camp. And a foul. Strong defense. I don't want Johnson doing that. He doesn't understand if you're going to miss, you miss long and throw it out of bounds. Not short where it's now going to be a transition bucket. There's Garza flaring into the corner for his first bucket of the set. Harper is wide open. I mean wide open and he missed it. Oh, great offense against his own. Ball never touched the ground. Bohannon for the lead. Bohannon's got it. One for eight from three this half. And they've had good looks. Last one not so much but they're top 25 in the country from three coming in. And Young. Awesome. Now Garza comes out to screen. Murray uses it. Garza in position again. Here we go. Garza and Johnson off the face up. That is pure in the country coming in about 27 a game. Now he's got his hands on Johnson and gave it up. Baker steps back against Garza and splashes it down. The top of the Big Ten is turn three at Talladega every night. I mean, it is back and forth. Mathis drops it off Harper. Oh my goodness, what vision by Mathis. Luca Garza against Reber. Garza off the pirouette. That is absolutely brilliant for the tie and the lead possibly after we come back. That's right. There he is. Bohannon rolls it in. Garza, that's a great entry pass. It was a, didn't recognize what Garza was gonna do. Iowa by a pair. They won here a couple of years ago on a Wheat Camp Bank. It's tied again on the lob for Johnson. Done to make this a destination as impressive as Harper. Oh! Stops it down for the lead. Oh, he just swallowed the rim. Screen. Garza denied. Bohannon slips it for the corner. Frederick mid range for the Iowa lead. All right. Top 15 game in the Big Ten. College basketball all day and night here is Young. Missed it for the lead. The tap from Johnson. Need the buck. Back screen. Bohannon. Here we go. Bohannon on Young. Had him on his hip. Bohannon scores. Oh, he does it all the time. Tip it before the play. Yes. Now a one-point lead for Iowa. On the explosive move, Geo Baker. Now Murray got the free throw we are tied with Johnson together on the far side of the lane free throw is good and Iowa has a one-point lead one time out for Rutgers How? it is Baker against Bohannon Baker stripped on the way up Mathis the touchdown low Johnson juggles it and it is out of bounds for Iowa with 4.4 to go he makes these two I am letting them don't let the ball get thrown over your head Free throw, no good. Two-point game. Mathis is... What do we got, a foul? Timeout. timeout. No timeouts for Rutgers. No good. Yes, I like this. On the sprint, oh. Young. No, it's short. And Iowa has survived again at the rack. 77-75.